Basta is a unique but small town. It still has some of the old characteristics from a bygone era. Um, around the city, you can see some of the old Ge Georgian architecture. You can also take in some of the shopping. We have some small intimate shops that cater to um, those persons who are more into the more indigenous crafts and pottery of the island. These are my carvings here. I'm a sculptor artist. I score the beach and I pick up driftwood. So right now you can see all my pieces here. I have pieces in the museum, National Museum also. For me, the beach bars are a must-see, a must-do on St. Kitts. It's a, um, an opportunity for you to sit back, relax with some of the locals and sip on some local rum, taste some of the local delicacies. Fun place for families. I mean, during the, the dead time, you can enjoy some beach games, ball, volleyball, or some sort of you know beach activity, and enjoy some of the local music, soca, calypso, or perhaps even reggae, on the beach, just watching the sunset and in a calm, cool atmosphere. The, the zip line is an exceptional way to discover the natural St. Kitts, as well as to experience and to discover some of the most breathtaking views imaginable. Well, right now we are standing on Wingfield Estate, that's St. Kitts, Old Road. And the thing about it is so different that um, you, know, you don't have to use your hand to break. And uh, well, that's what everybody loves about it. You can actually go down with your hands open, you know, actually get the real feeling of flying when you're going you know, 250 feet above the air. Plus, it's not that short little line you're going to get, that little rush. You're getting a huge, a huge, you know, exhilarating feeling when you're going down. I mean, my first time, <laughs> I can still remember my first time, and every day is just like a little, you know, repetition of my first time.